Hello, this is Chiak. We are playing Sam and Max Episode 5, The City That Dares Not Sleep, which should be the last episode in the Devil's Playhouse series. So, um, well, I'm sure they'll do a recap, so let's, let's, let's start. <laughs> Ah, there you are, my friend. I'm so glad you could make it back for our final chapter. It has been one week since the tragic turn of events that transformed Max from irrepressible scam to rampaging behemoth. Even now, he cuts a swath of destruction through the Upper West Side, releasing hideous spores that feed off the psychic energy of dream. You might think that this is yet another predictable story of a giant monster attacking Manhattan. But you'd be dead wrong, my friends. This is a mystery story, a tale of treachery and deceit. Watch carefully, my friends, because before our story is complete, one of the characters you see before you will betray Sam and Max. Who is it? That remains to be revealed. I'll join you again at the halfway point to give you one final guess. But for now, you have more pressing concerns. The great Max Beast, his hour come round at last, slouches towards Brooklyn to be born. coming in from downtown. Oh no! The entire neighborhood of Tribeca has fallen asleep! Those fools! Why did they insist on running that independent film festival? The creature is destroying the city, and the longer we wait, the more powerful he becomes. As acting president, I'm forced to launch the final imperative. No, wait. There's still some of Max in there. I know it. There's got to be another way. We've tried everything, sir. Not quite everything. If you could somehow get a team of highly trained experts inside Max, they might be able to reach his brain and reverse the transformation. But the Mametrons have already attempted to get through every point of entry. Some of the attempts were too horrible to even think about. Yeah, but they've all been avoiding the mother of all orifices, Max's mouth. Enter through the mouth? That's suicide. Hmm. I guess it's possible. If you could find a way to get him to swallow you whole, there'd be an opening about three meters wide. Three meters? That would be impossible, even for a computer. Max used to eat Stinky's Mega Chomp brats in one gulp, and those aren't much smaller than three meters. Hmm, very well, sir. But I can only give you until 6 a.m. At that point, for the good of America, I'll have to launch the attack. I'm on the case. Now, where am I going to find a team of highly trained experts? <laughs> it's like, are we in control yet? Talk to F Mr. Featherly. Yes, ah, I want to talk to the Sam. chicken. As the official representative of the theater district, I offer our full support in this time of crisis. Mr. Featherly. Award-winning actor, stage and sitcom, inventor of the free-range method, school of acting. <laughs> Stay slow. All Hi, right. Mr. Featherly. <laughs> want to join the team and help us save Max? Unfortunately, I must decline. Union rules, you know. Can't perform inside any theater smaller than 500 seats or any creature larger than 10 stories. And for obvious reasons, I am averse to being eaten. Makes sense, yep. Yeah. Mama Bosco. Will you join the rescue team, Mama Bosco? 
Sorry, Sam. If this is going to work, you're going to need me operating the radio and monitoring equipment from here. Paperweight and I will be happy to assist, of course. We will? Man up, Paperweight. Sam is going to need someone familiar with Creatures of the Dark Dimension. That's a good start, but you're going to need five more people. A scuba diver, a veterinarian, a psychologist, a dark wizard, and a brain surgeon. Did somebody call me? Sybil Pandemic married to Abraham Lincoln. Oh my god. Oh, she is, she is, she is everything. She is everything we need. And they're very heavily Sybil, pregnant. Sybil, you've come to help us save Max? What? Heck no. Seriously, did somebody call me? Harry Molman grabbed my cell phone from me and smashed it. But, but... Oh, all right. I'm in. I'll wait by the car. Looks like you've got your team, Sam. Now go out there and get Max to eat you! That sounded better in my head than out loud. Okay. Uh... Mama Bosco... Very he well. Just... Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Well. Awfully convenient that you're next in line for the presidency right as Max gets turned into a giant monster. Yes, sir. Convenient. And terrible. <laughs> okay, apparently that ends there. How bad's the damage, Super Bowl? As damage goes, it's rather spectacular, sir. The ex-president is the most horrible and destructive creature ever to enter New York, not counting those coming from Long Island. We've had to quarantine the entire island of Manhattan. So you're saying it's just us, alone against some colorful street gangs and a sewer system full of bloodthirsty chuds, unless we can... escape from New York? Actually, the chuds have been deployed to secure the perimeter, sir. A little tolerance and appreciation would be nice. What was that you were talking about? The final imperative? A full nuclear strike against former President Max. Where would you get the equipment for that? Each of the Mametrons has been fitted with a nuclear warhead and given a programming upgrade so that their song references are slightly less dated. Also, they can fly now. A nuclear strike would wipe out all of New York, not to mention kill my formerly little buddy. Acceptable losses. It's all part of Contingency Plan 2, devised when Max became president. A acceptable? How can you say... Wait, Contingency Plan 2? Statistical analysis indicated that Max becoming a gargantuan hell beast was the second most likely outcome. What was the most likely outcome? Imagine a scenario involving the worst aspects of the Norse legend of Ragnarok, the Book of Revelations, and Weekend at Bernie's. All right. Okay. That's everything, huh? Uh, who else is in here that we can talk to? Can, why would I need to go down the hole? Oh yeah, we don't have uh, Max's powers anymore. I am at your service, Sam. Oh, what? It was sure nice of you to pitch in to help save Max, Mr. Featherly. Of course. Anything for this great city, Sam. I would sacrifice my soul itself to guarantee the spirit of theater lives on, and the lights of Broadway are never truly snuffed out. I thought Max destroyed Broadway the first night of his rampage. Indeed. And my theater is now buried beneath two tons of his spore. So, I had some free time on my hands. <laughs> Got it, okay. Come on, back, back away. Well, I was actually trying to... Any luck yet, Sam? Alright, well, there is a whole bunch of things to talk about. Spores. Those flaming Max head things don't seem to be getting into the lab. For the time being, anyway. I'm playing a recording on a super ultrasonic frequency that keeps them away. What recording is it? I can see you! Ah, I wondered why I was subconsciously being driven into a murderous rage. <laughs> okay. I, is that reference to a previous game? So why were you warning us not to take a nap or read political blogs again? Because of the spores, you see. Creatures such as the one your ex-partner turned into turned them out like vegans from a liberal arts college. They are linked to the host and they feed off the psychic energy of the city's nightmares. It's all very gross, but perfectly natural for an elder god. You should have seen me during my awkward phase. I was putting out so many spores, it's a miracle I didn't go blind. <laughs> How does the lab still have power when most of the city is being destroyed? 
I converted everything over to biodiesel in case of emergency. There's a big vat of vegetable oil on the roof. Okay. Are we safe here in the lab, Mama Bosco? Max has been leaving this part of town alone, mostly. We're safe as long as we stay awake. You should avoid any long, repetitive, and unnecessary conversations. It's just like when I was first starting out as a sorcerer. There was another student at the boarding school, seemed to think everything was all about him, and then one day I was telling him I said, Help awake. Yes, shutting up, my master. Okay. There's got to be some way to turn Max back to quote-unquote normal. Don't worry about that, Sam. Just concentrate on getting Max to eat you. With Sybil and Dr. Norrington's help, you boys will be back to stopping crimes and wasting my time before you know it. Yes, brain surgery on a creature as large as this has almost a 0.72% chance of success. Uh... Never thought it would be this hard to get Max to eat something. He's probably still full after eating the Bronx last night. He's bound to come looking on our street any second now. Just get out there and try to look tender and succulent. Okay. Why are you still working on that destabilizer, Mama Bosco? You got your body back. I'm still trying to find a way to get Dr. Norrington back to his own dimension. Yog Sagoth is my lord and master always. But I think we could use some time apart. So far, I've only been able to manage quick jumps of around 15 seconds or so. Sounds neat. I want to watch. Uh, is that it? Okay, let's go down the hole then. Wandering around the Mole Man tunnels is no fun without Max. Okay. Well, okay, that at least explains. Let me see. The Upper West or... Side, Midtown, and the Village are all reporting extensive damage. And, uh oh, insiders say Greg and Fred are headed for a divorce. What about the children? Okay, so I think that's it then. There's nothing else here, so might as well just leave. See anything familiar? Just the usual screaming void past the brink of infinity. We'll have to try again later. Okay, well, you're back. I'm going out. <laughs> So there's nothing else inside the lab besides the... Today is a good day to die. If you're a giant monster attacking the city, am I right, fellas? Now you all know I'm not one for speeches, but I have prepared a few words. <clears throat> Let's kick that Devil Bunny's ass! Move out! Hunt! Two! Three! Four! to a statue. Got it, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, there's Max. Use giant Max. What the? Oh. Okay, can hey, you- Hey, Guess he's still skittish about that whole necking with girl Stinky, plotting the murder of Grandpa Stinky, and unknowingly contributing to the apocalyptic fever dreams of a mad ventriloquist dummy from the Dark Dimension thing. But what's he doing hanging around Bosco Tech? Okay. What about this ridiculously long- Looks like Max has been through here. He must have broken a water main while he was at it. So... Besides the goal of getting... <laughs> Manhattan, a What's city that? under siege. But it- 100% pure rapeseed oil. Mama Vosco converted the entire lab to biodiesel. I can't get close to it with that film crew in the way. Hey, Vacha, your blocking's alive! <laughs> Sorry, Jurgen. What's new, Beelzebub? 
No time to chat, Sam. I'm doing public relations work that is absolutely crucial to my enterprise. Satan, the father of lies, back in charge of hell following a recent power shakeup. Currently pursuing an anti I didn't even know Hell had a public relations lawsuit. department. We sincerely appreciate your feedback. Now go away. Didn't read that last part, but oh, here we go. We have the stuff here. Um. Hello, Jorgen. Satan's got you as his cameraman now? Sam, please. I'm a German vampire. Filmmaking is in my blood, as is the blood of several German filmmakers. <laughs> So, Jurgen, need an assistant director or something? You wouldn't be able to handle it, Sam. Just between you and me, the talent is insufferable. Oh, he keeps telling me, make sure you get my good side. He's Satan. He doesn't have a good side. Interesting wardrobe you've got going on there, Jurgen. <laughs> Figures you would not understand. The goth look is so three years ago. 1900 retro is the look for fall in New York City. Plus, it's a lot cheaper. Sam, what happened to you to make you so cynical? So, that bald spot of yours keeps showing up on camera. Can you guys fix that in post? But, is it showing? My stylist explicitly guaranteed it wouldn't be visible. Oh, oh, I uh, grabbed Satan the microphone. keeps waving that microphone around like he's some kind of big shot. Satan keeps... Okay, so we're supposed to replace that microphone with something. Why do we have a jar of espresso beans? All right, Jürgen, let's take it from the top. Okay, so that's... From the great pesto flood of 1908 to the premiere of Starlight Express in 1987, New York City is no stranger to tragedy. But this tragedy... Go match, New York rules. I will cast you into the pit if you walk into frame again. Mind if I uh, scooch on through and get to that water tower? I cannot deal with more of these delays. Please, Sam, the lighting is perfect right now. Be a good boy and wait until we're finished here. Okay, so until... Over here, you can see the so-called hell flames rising behind me. Hey, Max, how's the weather up there? <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. Okay. So I don't think we can do anything here yet because I don't have any items. Except for... I don't know where the espresso beans came from, but we just have them. Okay. Let's, there's a ton of other people to talk to, so... Hiya, pal. What's the rumpus? Hey, Flint. Want to join us inside Max's body for... Don't I, Sam. I've got to beat cheeks while the beating's good. Um, okay... Don't fret, Grandpa. I'll put the pinch on those grifters trying to take you for a ride faster than you can shave a hobo's coin slot. Does he really have to do that with the lingo getting all disturbing? And it's always about hobos for some reason. <laughs> Can you not do something about your wee friend here? I think if you just apologize for calling him short, we could put all this behind us. It's nae worth it. <laughs> okay. What's with the delivery truck? Obviously, I'm delivering food for the war effort. I don't see anything in there but a bunch of cornmeal. That's because these flaming parasites ran off with all me wieners. We must feed the host. Pig lips and sphincters make us stronger. We regret nothing. If you're trunk out of commission, now what are you going to do? I'm heading back to my diner while I still have one. But you'll be crushed or lulled into a horrible nightmare of sleep by the hideous spores. Come play with us, Grandpa. We will whisper sweet stories from the congressional record. I haven't slept in three years, and I ain't about to start now. Okay. Have you and Stinky patched things up since your birthday party? She and that, that bridge and tunnel and sewer boyfriend of hers are up to something. I guarantee it, and they are not going to catch me by surprise. I think you're being too hard on Sal. I'll bet if you just talked, you'd find out you had a lot in common. Like what? 
Well, you're both almost impossible to kill, you like dark places, and you hiss a lot. <laughs> okay, there's still more with the delivery truck, I just realized. At least move your truck. You're parked in a red zone. <laughs> if you want it moved, then you'll have to do it yourself. Okay, now the delivery truck is gone. Do you want to join us for an action-packed fantastic voyage inside the body of Max? Do I? Do I? No! Oh, come on, Grandpa. Every action rescue team needs an unlikable one who's first to get picked off when the killing starts. Well, I can't. I'm washing my beard tonight. Were you making your diabolically delicious demon dogs? I, I really thought they'd bring the city together, too. That actually sounds kind of generous, Grandpa Stinky. I uh, know, especially since everyone in New York would be hooked, and then they'd have to come to my diner to get any more. I'd make a fortune. And now I suppose you expect me to be giving you a super secret recipe. Well, yeah, that'd help. All right, there you go. Uh, that's it? Of course that's it. It's just a recipe. Why do you always have to make things so complicated? Okay, so this is probably what we need the vegetable oil for. Thanks for the recipe, Grandpa Stinky. Yeah, good luck with that, Marmaduke. Now I've got to perfect a recipe of my own. Okay. The, okay, so that's the, pot, the pothole. One mostly pure pork by Product Frank or substitute. One ton of cornmeal. The vegetable oil. One egg. One egg for binding. Just one egg. The last box of corn dogs in the entire city. Corn dogs? Gimme, give gimme! Give what? Dog me, Sam. Keep them coming. Go on, beat it. Those imposters like corn dogs as much as the real Max does. I hope that means the real Max is still somewhere inside that lumbering sack of doom. Over the corn it's meal. a counter so of Grandpa Stinky's world famous ultra high fructose cornmeal. I don't think I'd be able to carry all of it. Hmm, what about the truck? Grandpa Stinky's been selflessly devoting his truck to the war effort. You take the wheels and I'll check the cab to see if there's a radio. You'd have to be some kind of monster to loot an emergency vehicle in the middle of a war zone. Besides, I already tried it. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Got the corn dogs. Uh... It's Grandpa Stinky's recipe. I know. So if I... If I add this to here... No, these are too delicious. Okay, just wanted to see, wanted to see. Um, what else Everything we got checks now? out here. Your eyes are getting very, very heavy. Oh, hi, Sam. With the modifications I've made to the DeSoto, we should be all set to travel through Max. You'll just need to find a way to get it inside it. All right. Are those fake Maxes bothering you? Sleep. Sleep. Sam, I'm in my fifth trimester here. I couldn't sleep even if I wanted to. Nice work, Sybil. I didn't know you were into cars. Oh, you know, after college, I got together with a few of my girlfriends, and I know it's a cliche, but we opened a chop shop. Suction wheels, antibody-proof paint job, and an exhaust system rich in omega-3. And what's that I smell? I thought you would appreciate that. Wiener scented air fresheners! Sybil, you're the best. Okay. Are you sure it's safe for you to go on this mission in your, um, condition? Don't worry, Sam. I've talked to the best OBGYNs and the finest classical sculptors, and they all agree that everything's fine. I'm not due for another two weeks, at least. Can you help me out with this recipe, Sybil? Sorry, Sam. I can strip down a DeSoto, psychoanalyze a serial killer, and carry a national monument in my body for 13 months, but I never learned to cook. I don't even own a mixing bowl. Okay. So, uh, looks like you and Lincoln had an, uh, uh, eventful honeymoon. Oh, it was absolutely magical. He took me back home to D.C. to introduce me to his friends, and then one night, 
As we were out on the White House lawn, looking at the stars, he just suddenly took me in his... <laughs> Sam? Sam, are you okay? What? Oh, sorry, my brain went into shock for a second to prevent permanent damage. Please, go on. Not much more to tell, really. Thirteen months later, and here we are. Okay. okay. See you around, Sybil. <laughs> Let me know as soon as you're ready to leave. If I could get enough speed, I bet I could jump this thing straight into... Sorry, Sam. The modifications I've made to the DeSoto make it perfect for traveling through Max's innards. But it can't travel on land. Okay, interesting. So, what is this? It's Where my government-issued jar of chocolate-covered espresso beans. Everybody in the city got one to help us stay awake against Max's creepy spores. They were giving out cans of Head Rush brand energy drink, but it all got recalled on account of the high fructose corn syrup and tiny shards of broken glass. I'm sorry, what? I'm not quite sure. I better what keep I these for when this case gets really boring later on. Okay. Um, anything else I can. Any more ideas, Fake Max? I can dispense hints for the cost of one delicious corn dog. Forget it. I'm not wasting these things on you cheap floaty knockoffs. Oh, then sleep. Okay. So. Grandpa Stinky's been selflessly devoting his. Hmm. Nothing more there. I would imagine we can just shoot. Since it's vandalism. Okay. So, I'm assuming this is all I can do out here. I got myself a recipe. Maybe I just need to talk to the people downstairs then. Figured out a way, now we need to collect the ingredients. Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Okay, nothing there. Any luck yet, Sam? Uh, I want to see you use that dimensional destabilizer again. In due time, my boy. Traveling there hasn't done us any good so far. Perhaps if we were to hold on to something. Ah, uh, very well. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, let's just take a look at this again. Mostly pure pork by product frank or substitute. Cornmeal, we know where that is. Vegetable oil, we know where that is. One egg. I am at your service, Sam. <sighs> you wouldn't know where I could get an egg, Mr. Featherly. Oh, I see how this works. Everyone assumes that just because I happen to be poultry, of course I know where to score them some eggs. It's for a good oh. cause. <sighs> Very well. Bear in mind that this is strictly a one-time deal. Noted. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, mm. Me, 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 me. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> What's the problem? I can't do this with everyone watching me. I don't think they're watching you, Mr. Featherly. There's a giant monster attacking the city. It's good of you to say so, Sam, but my magnetism and stage presence are undeniable. I simply cannot do this until everyone turns around and gives me some privacy. I can't help you with those computers watching. Every blink of the cursor is like an indictment. I don't think they have cameras, Mr. Featherly. In fact, I don't understand how they've been seeing Max and me all this time, or walking around, or how they can move around without unplugging themselves. And you say I'm the one overthinking it. Okay. See anything familiar? Just the usual screaming void past the brink of infinity. I haven't talked to that. Hello agree. and welcome to the Creature Obliteration and Punishment Society. Obliteration and Punishment? You've got it all wrong. We're trying to help Max. We will help him. To a generous serving of ass whooping. Okay. 
hope you guys are being careful. I hear there's a particularly nasty virus going around. I swear I have been careful. It was only that one time. And never be too careful, guys. You better run a scan or something. We're sorry. This will require us to go through a full reboot. We would be unavailable for approximately 30 to 60 seconds. We'll find some way to manage without you. Shut down commencing. Will oh. I dream? Just hurry it up. Okay, now... I am at your service, Sam. How are we doing on that egg, Mr. Featherly? That foul creature with his dead stare and grossly misshapen arms. I can't concentrate with him looking at me. Also, Dr. Norrington is making me uncomfortable. Okay. So this Any is... Any yet, Sam? Uh, uh, uh... One more time with that to stable up. Oh, very... Okay. Hush, hush, everyone, okay? I am... I swear to God, is there going to be someone else? on that egg? I simply can't. How are we doing on that egg, Mr. Featherly? Uh, can I get you a magazine or something? Uh, it's called Koi Cloaca, Sam. It's a perfectly legitimate medical condition. I simply can't help you until you get everyone to turn around and stop watching me. Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Ooh, is that a rooster laying an egg? What? Where? Oh, oh, okay. Ha, ha. Finally. It's going to take forever to get my figure back. Thanks, Super Bowl. I desperately wanted to see that, sir. Ask him if he'll lay another one. <laughs> Maybe some other time. <laughs> okay, we got the egg. So that's what the whole thing about him disappearing to the other dimension. Got it. Um, all right, so now the question, do I need to like combine things with other things? Oh, hey, you're back. See anything familiar? Just the usual screen. Okay. Um, can I? I can't. Okay, we got the corn dog and the egg. I still need to figure out how to get the corn meal. What was the other one again? Vegetable oil and then the one mostly pure pork by Product Frank or Substitute. Would that be the corn dogs then? Please press or say the. What are you guys doing here? We have pledged our prodigious processing power to devising an algorithm that will save the city, if not the entire universe. You are welcome. How long is that gonna take? Estimating. Buffering. Time to completion, 3.5 minutes. Well, that's convenient. Only three and a half minutes to come up with a solution to the whole thing? Oh god, no. It will take three and a half minutes to come up with the estimate. Oh, for God. Have you guys got any ideas about how I can help Max? Our breakthrough destructo match technology can calculate the perfect points to place nuclear warheads for maximum destruction with only PG-13 levels of blood and gore. That is one rabbit who will be multiplying into a thousand smoldering pieces. Come on, cops. It's not Max's fault he's been turned into a shambling Elder God. That is one Elder God who is headed for mandatory retirement. So if a Gibbon had a microchip implanted... Hey, wait a second. What happened to the Crime Tron? She is on an extended weekend getaway with the Bluster Blaster machine. Ouch. How's uh, Kurt taking it? I only want her to be happy, is all. Who needs that Crime Tron anyway, am I right? You shut your mouth. She was an angel designed in California and manufactured in heaven. I'm serious, cops. Superball's gonna blow up my best buddy if I can't stop him. It looks like your BFF will soon be DOA. Okay, so is that... what? Seriously? There's more? You guys are really getting on my nerves. And soon Max's nerves will be getting on you. Uh. 
After we blow him up, that is. I mean, considering it's going to be getting on everything else. Okay, is there anything else here? So we got the egg from Mr. Featherly. Any luck yet, Sam? No. That's it for there. Okay, I might well. be done in Keep here then. Because I don't see anything else. We got the egg. Use elevator, please. So I don't know about. Hmm. Let's talk to Sybil. See if there. Well, there's. See if there's anything. Nice work, Sybil. I didn't know you were into cars. Oh, you know, after college, I got together with a few of my girlfriends and. Suction okay. Me. I. Wiener this second. is a repeat. Sybil, you're There's now a reason I've got I could click on it. Well, Can I'm we do glad you two more? had a nice honeymoon, even though you must never ever speak of it again in my presence. Oh, that's sweet. You know, I wanted to thank you and Max for introducing me to Abe, and I know how much you both like new guns. So before I left, I got you both a surprise. Ooh, gimme! Where is it? Shut up, not Max. But seriously, Sybil, where is it? It's in those boxes of stuff I gave you for safekeeping. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Okay, see you around, Sybil. Let me know as soon as you're ready to leave. Hmm. So... It's a ton or so of grip. I don't think I... Every time I get stuck during a case, I start binge eating. Do I use it? Activate it? Who needs espresso beans? I'm riding the natural high of mayhem and mystery solving. Wait, something popped up, but then I didn't see... Some of the objects can be activated on their own. Hide with the corn dog and then click on the activate icon. Mmm, something smells good. <laughs> Come on, Max. Here, boy. And good for you. Come on, Max. Here, boy. Okay, but the only thing is to eat the corn dog again. Was did I open the cab of the truck? It's a ton or so of grip. I don't think I. Grandpa Stinky's been selflessly. Maybe okay. I don't know. Could I, could I move during that? Because I wasn't sure. Okay, okay, I can move. Mm, so wait. Corn dogs. They're good and good for you. She so grabs it. Then. Eat it. There we go. Okay. No, these are too delicious. One recipe to rule them all and one egg for binding. Nerd! <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, let's take a look at the... So it's just the vegetable oil and the... Can we... Can we replace the... Oh. 
We're gonna replace the microphone with a corn dog, and then he's coming gonna get into taken. view. Is the Sam, dear boy? You'll be damned if I let you continue to interrupt me. Don't worry, we're just gonna. Yeah, we're getting a little shine off your horns there. It's throwing off the white balance. Intolerable. Make up. Okay. Then. Did you need to throw it off Ball the side? Check. Okay. check, check. Succubus, succubus. Is this thing on? <laughs> Yipe! You okay, Satan? That was quite a fall. I've had worse, but I can tell when I'm not wanted. Come on, Jürgen. Oh, like wickedness, that nightmare is finally over. Let's go back to hell. Oh, right. All right, and with that, that's gonna end the set here because we have everything but the I'm sorry, what was it? A mostly pure pork byproduct Frank or a substitute. So either way, thank you for liking if you like, thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time guys, see ya!